The collection was delivered to us in April of 2021 and we received 78 boxes. And by having Irma's collection here at UD, it will be available for researchers, scholars, Irma enthusiasts, and they can look at her writing, but I think they can also get a glimpse at her personal life. Well, Irma Bombeck is a legend, right? Certainly a massive contributor to what we understand about the human experience, particularly from the perspective of a woman. She looked at motherhood, you know, with with a different kind of a lens. She loved her kids dearly, but she, she found the absurdity in everyday life uh, and, and brought it to a generation of people. We have her newspaper columns. There are uh, television writing from Good Morning America, screenplays for Maggie, the television sitcom. And then we also have correspondence, personal family photos, professional photos, we have her honorary degrees, other memorabilia pieces, also her papers from the President's Commission on Women when she was asked by President Carter to serve on that committee. We have speeches, interviews, and some original cartoons by Bill Keen. We have some of his original cartoons that he sent to Irma. And then there's a lot of correspondence, you know, that um, some of it is very touching with friends and, and some with family. We have her column ideas, uh, which are written on various scraps of paper and other material. You can also look at her manuscripts and all of the edits that she made to see an insider's view of her writing process. She never used a computer. She just felt that they were not creative and she wanted to hold it in her hands. So she always had, you know, an IBM Selectric with the, the carbon paper and she hammered out the column. The ability that Irma had, you know, again, to speak to the everyday person, to really capture the human essence in a way that was accessible and lighthearted, but also deeply profound, is really important for our students to be able to understand the multitude, again, of the human experience. It's not just looking back on it or looking back the way things used to be, but hopefully finding that, you know, things haven't changed that much. And if we can laugh at some of these things, we'd all be a little better off. I go back to the three magic words that Brother Tom Price, her English professor, said to her that gave her encouragement and support. And he said three words to me, that's all, just three words, it was to sustain me for the rest of my life, I think. He looked at me and he said, you can write. You can write. And she believed him. And then I look at our own students today and I think that here at the University of Dayton, what we try to do is help young people find their calling find their passion, and have the courage to follow that. And Irma discovered that here. Both my mom and dad were very connected to UD, and they have really fond memories of UD. And so really, it's only fitting that um, the archives go back there. And we're, we're thrilled that other people might, you know, look at it, see it, enjoy it. We're, we're, we're happy about that. And also in, in conjunction with the workshop, um, and I know my mom, she wasn't alive when the workshop started, but I know she'd be thrilled about that too. She was always very supportive of, of, of other writers and other people trying to find their voice. And so I think she'd, she'd be thrilled.